Hello and welcome. I'm going to walk you through how to do the diffusion lab. So the purpose of this lab is to see, uh, compare and contrast the rate of diffusion of different salt solutions. So the salt in the solution and how fast that salt will go through a membrane to, and so in this case uh, of dialysis tubing uh, into purified water. All right. So the equipment you'll need is a 400 milliliter beaker, and we're going to fill that up with. 300 milliliters of purified water. You'll need a conductivity probe, a couple uh, clamps for the dialysis tubing or string if you're going to use string to tie up the ends, but the clamps work pretty well. Uh, lab quest and a length of dialysis tubing. I cut this five inches or 12 centimeters. And so we'll get the water for this first. Remember to use purified water. So in this case, we're going to use the purified water here. All right, so fill it up to 300 milliliters. Go ahead and connect the conductivity probe to the LabQuest. Sometimes your LabQuest device, you'll turn it on there, will say something like this. Um, it's just asking if you want to open up any data from the last person to use it. I don't, I'm gonna cancel. All right, so that's working. I can put my conductivity meter in the distilled or purified water, and it should come up with a pretty low number. The setting on your conductivity probe, should probably be on the zero to the mid range, so the zero to 2000 setting. So that one there. And I'm going to change the units to milligrams per liter. I'll also change the collection parameters. There's a stylus inside the LabQuest if you want to use that instead. I'm going to change the rate to 0.2. I'll leave the interval, that's a function of the rate. And then I'll change the duration to 60. Okay, so the lab quest is all set up. Conductivity meters in the water, the purified water. And now I've got to get the dialysis tubing set and get the salt water solution in there. So let's do that. All right. So I'm over at the sink, the dialysis tubing, it's actually a, a tube, but it doesn't look like it, it just looks like a piece of plastic, but it's not plastic. Um, I'm gonna rinse it off, and after about 10 seconds of rinsing or so, I should be able to clamp one of the ends. So in order to do that, I'll take the tube and I'll fold over one of the ends, about half an inch or a centimeter. Then I'll take my yellow clamp. All right, so that end's clamped. Now on this end, I might need to get it wet a little more. On this end, I should be able to open up the tube and add some salt water to it. So there's purified water in the beaker, there's gonna be salt water in here. All right, so find one of the salt water solutions in the room. I'm gonna start with the lowest concentration, which is the 1% NaCl. And I want 10 milliliters of salt water inside the tube. And in order to do that, I'm just gonna add four pipette transfers inside of the tube. So, one, two, four. Then I'm gonna fold over the end 
and clamp that end up uh, close as well. If there's any bubbles in there, try to get the bubbles out. And then clamp the end shut. And there's the tubing. All right, once you've added the salt water to the dialysis tubing, go ahead and rinse off the tubing for a while. Get any excess salt water off the outside of the tubing. All right, head back to your lab station. Okay, everything should be set on your lab quest. Go ahead and add the dialysis tubing to the distilled water and gently stir it around for a little bit. After about 10 seconds or 15 seconds, doesn't really matter exactly. Um, after it's been there for about 10 seconds, go ahead and hit play on the lab quest. And that's going to start the data collection. All right. And then for the 60 seconds that it's going to collect data, go ahead and just, just keep stirring that gently to mix the dialysis tubing into the water. All right, when the minute of data collection is up, you could remove the conductivity meter. Should have a nice graph on there. On the graph, you're going to want to click this icon. It looks like a, an old old fashioned file cabinet. You want to click that, and now it's going to say run two. You can always go back and see run one, but you're going to want to be on run two now, and you need to set that up. So go back to the sink. All right, rent, remove dialysis tubing and then have someone in your lab group go back and you're going to dump this water out and fill that back up with 300 milliliters of distilled water again or purified water just like before. Take the dialysis tubing, remove one of the ends. Okay. And dump out salt water and rinse the tube out. So not just the outside of the tube but also Fill up the inside of the tube, almost like you're filling up a water balloon or something like that. So again, rinsing out and inside the tube as well a couple times. Okay. Now you can reuse the dialysis tubing and grab the next solution. So again, we started. We started with the one percent. All right now this time I'm going to go ahead and add um, the 5% solution to the dialysis tube again using uh, the pipette and four pipette transfers into the dialysis tubing. And then next time you'll do the 10% and then next time you'll do the 15%. So you can do that four times. All right now the last thing I'm going to show is how to get the data from the LabQuest device to your iPad. So you'll need to have the graphical analysis app that we posted on Schoology. Go ahead and open that up and click new experiment. All right, from there you're gonna click data sharing and select the camera. And on your, iP on your LabQuest, you'll need to bring up the code to scan. So you're gonna hit the home button. You go to connections. And you're going to scan that code. Okay. Then you select connect. All right, it might not show up anything right away. You can always select the Y axis and you can click on the graph that you obtained. Your graph should have all four runs. So I'm going to bring up an older one that I've previously done. All right, so there's the four runs, and you're going to want to have, uh, for your data, on your write-up, you're going to want to have this shown. You're going to want to label all four of them, so it might be handy to bring this up. And remember, you know, run one in my example was 1%, run two is 5%, run three was 10%, run four is 15% salt solution. So that would be good to label those lines, 1, 5, 10, and 15. And then you're going to need the slope of those lines. So you don't have to select the whole uh, graph, but select the parts of the graph that you think are 
relevant. And then in the bottom left, select the graph, apply curve fit. And then in the equation of the line, y equals mx plus b, m is the slope or the rate. And then you can uh, make a data table showing what the rate is for each of the salt solutions. All right, there's one more thing I need to show you is that how to turn off the LabQuest device. So I know you turned it on by hitting the power button, but you're going to turn it off actually a little differently. You're going to hit the home button. And then on the on-screen, hit uh, system, and then shut down. And then OK. And then once that's happening, you can remove the conductivity meter, and you can go ahead and plug that back in.